overhook. Okay? You're going to make a fist. I normally do this for a couple reasons. It's because if I have a fist, I know I'm flexing my bicep. Other part is because if I have a fist and we're really close, usually I'm going to try to put it in his face or his throat. That's it's wrestling, right? So side wizards, all right? We got that part? Cool. Next part we're going to go to is the front wizard. It's a slight variation. It might not be that difficult if you're paying attention. Pay attention, okay? So we're going in, snake in, side wizard, front wizard, underhook. Got it? Chest to chest, wizard side in. Good? All right, so <coughs> what I like to do initially, I call this the front wizard rock. It just gets you used to, go ahead and get on your knees, gets you used to the throw position. As many of you know, it's scary because you throw yourself to your back. It's a high risk, high reward style. Um, and this is to kind of get you acclimated to falling backwards. So we're gonna get in with your partner, front wizard. You're gonna get <coughs> the overhook, make a fist real tight, underhook, and then all I'm gonna do is wizard side, fall over. All right, sit out. Don't break contact with your partner. Your thumb up. Gonna go ahead and do the same thing to me, wizard side. Fall back. Sit down. Come back up. And do the same thing. Think we can do that? Yeah. All right. There's enough room in this room to be able to at least start with that, so fine. Think Corners so. though, but be real organized. You guys ready? Let's go. Well, hold up, one more time.